Okay, the next job that I need to get done is I've got some uh, seedlings, onions, that I really need to get into the ground. And I didn't plan it for this garden, um, but this garden would have uh, actually received a lot of potatoes. But the potatoes I'm going to put into this bed under the leaf mulch like I did the others. So I'm going to get those onions into the ground over there. Uh, I did put the camera very low down here to keep it in the shade, otherwise it overheats very quickly. Um, but I'll quickly yeah, get to that. A little baby radish. Okay, since we've sowed that garden there and covered it, it's now the first time that we've opened it. Um, and I didn't thin any of the seedlings, you know, with the radishes or the carrots, um, but it's still very small. But I do see that there's quite a bit of weeding that I need to do. But we'll get to that as well. Okay. Um, I have some onions that I saved over winter uh, with my eggplant and volunteer tomato that came up there in the same pot and then some onions that I potted up as well from that compost garden that I had where they came up um, and then saved them to these little pots as well along with those in the pots with the uh, brinjals and the tomato um, but anyway oh, there's Texas, that sweet Texas grano there's red creole um, there's some spring onion and pickle onion um, and it's all mixed up so I'm just going to plant it and see how it develops 